Ages. The Middle Ages is divided into two time periods in art history. The Romanesque period, which is marked by the creation of castles as protective spaces for the residents of the kingdom, and the Gothic period, which is marked by the rise of Christianity and cathedrals and churches. The main features of these Gothic buildings are their pointy spires or steeples pointing at heaven, and this beautiful cathedral is called the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, France, very famous for being one of the oldest in Gothic architecture, with flying buttresses that help support the building because of its vaulted ribs, which helps make the ceiling rounded and curved. And the famous rose window, which is a stained glass window that brings in color and liveliness into the dull and dark church and cathedral interiors. So this is how they make it. All these colored glasses are connected by soldered iron. And it's a beautiful piece of art. They feature mostly Christian saints or figures from the Bible. So today we're going to make our own version of a stained glass window. However, because we do not have all the materials we need to make a stained glass window, we're just going to use whatever we have at home, like paper and perhaps color tissue paper if you have them. If you don't, why don't you use plastic bags with different colors? They are somewhat translucent, which means lets the light pass through, and so it will still give that stained glass effect. Be careful when you use box cutters and make sure you put a cardboard or some protective layer underneath the paper that you're going to cut to ensure you don't leave scratches or unnecessary marks on the table. Voila! Now if you don't have all of these materials, you can paint or draw a stained glass window effect. Just remember that stained glass windows are connected by soldered iron, and so to bring about that effect, make your lines, especially the outlines, very thick, very bold.
Submit your work in the Google Classroom, and I'm excited to see what you've done. Have fun!